Okay. Well, uh, you clearly have plenty of experience in the outdoors, which would make you a, an ideal camp counselor. But what I'm looking for is really a, uh, a camp manager. Let me just give you an example of uh, something you might come across here. Um, one of the girls, one of the counselors, is late for her morning duties. Now, uh, you find out that she was drinking all the previous night, and she is now hungover on campgrounds. How do you deal with that situation? I, uh, I split her head in two with an axe. An axe? Okay. Um, that, that's fine. Okay, sure. Um, look, you, you obviously have plenty of enthusiasm for the job. I, I just, uh, maybe there's a certain lack of imagination going on. I mean, use the axe, but, you know, work your way into it, I guess. Well, uh, you know, I've, I've always kind of wanted to try a harpoon gun. Harpoon gun? Good. I like that. I like, go with that. Go with that instinct. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, you know um, one time I actually impaled two people on the same fence post. Efficiency too. See, see, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. Inspiration and know-how. Uh, one of the big differences here is uh, at this particular camp, there are, there are no kids. No kids. No, really? ki no kids whatsoever. No, just uh, nothing but drunk, horny college co-eds. Okay, well, uh, interesting. Okay, well, so how many of these uh, morons do you kill every summer? Mm, 15, 20 a year, give or take. So why do they keep coming back? I, I really don't know. Our business model makes absolutely no sense. But uh, they keep coming back and we have to hire somebody. Are they hard to kill? No, no, not really. Um, occasionally one will make a run for it, but, uh, in those instances you are not allowed to chase or, or run after them. Really? Won't they get away? No, no, they're, they're really stupid. Uh, they're pretty much screwed as soon as you go after them. Okay, so no survivors. Mm, mm, well, there does tend to be at least one survivor. Uh, it's usually a young lady. She's not the hottest one. She's usually the second hottest one, uh, the one who never takes her top off. You'll spot her right off the bat. So why is that? Why does she get away? It's, it's kind of a camp tradition. Um, just something we do. Now, there is a possibility that she will kill you. Have you been killed before? Oh, yeah, a couple times. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, that will come in handy. Um, all right, I'm, I think we're in good shape. Uh, all right. When can you start? Uh, right away, if you like. I, I do like. <laughs> okay, so uh, when do I get to meet the counselors? Oh, no, uh, you never meet the counselors. Really? Yeah, no, they, they don't even know you work here. We find it works best that way. Avoids any ugly attachment issues, that okay. kind of thing. Um, I do have to say, I'm not so sure about the mask. Um, it's a little too edgy, a little too sexy, you know? Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe like a bag. Yeah, like a, a big burlap bag with one eye hole. What do you say? I will think about it. I tell you what, we'll try the bag. If the bag doesn't work, we'll go back to the mask. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, here's your machete. Oh, yes. Thank and you, uh, take this to Marcy in the main office down the hall. And uh, she'll get your count started. Uh, wait, an account? What's the account for? Uh, no, no, your your count. A uh, body count. Ah. It's how we decide bonuses at the end of the year. I see. Okay. All right, I think okay. we're good. Uh, good luck to you, son. Thank you. Oh, uh, Nancy? Yes, sir. Nancy, can you uh, cancel that appointment with Dr. Kruger? I, I think we have our camp manager. Absolutely, I'm on it. Okay. Whew.